White's Gourmet Night. BBC Radio Manchester. As I said, we're in the Northern Quarter. A bit later on, you'll be getting some cooking tips from Top Chef at the Malaysian restaurant Ning. That's a bit later on. I'm in a place called Ning's. Now, Ning's is a Malaysian restaurant just on... Uh, old, this is Olden Street, isn't it? It is Olden Street. Good, yeah. I'm with the head chef and co-owner, Norman Musa. Um, Norman's been kind enough to let us in the kitchen. Norman, uh, first of all, I think, how do we define Malaysian food? Right. In, when, it, when we're talking about Malaysian food, Malaysian food is very diverse, OK? It's like a melting pot in a Southeast Asia. I mean, we have, like, a different few races like Malay like me Chinese Indians and there are some in between like Mamak and also this Baba and Nyonya as well so it's like there's a variety of food there so uh, that's yeah you, you can when you go to Malaysia I mean it's like uh, you have lots of options I mean what, what type of food you would go for okay uh, we're stood at the cooker now you, you've got an incredible amount of food here in front of us what, what you what are you about to cook right I'm just I'm gonna show you how to cook this chicken rendang this is like um, a national dish. I mean, everyone's fav every Malaysian's favorite is um, chicken rendang. Right, I'm just going to show you briefly, like in terms of the ingredients that you need for this um, rendang. So we got lemongrass, kalangal, garlic, onion, and ginger, and of course these um, chilies. Mm -hmm. Malaysians loves chilies. Yeah. So we use the dry chilies. So I'm going to mix all these ingredients and then start frying it. Yeah. So you're going to hear all this. Um, right. So. So it's very important for you to cook this, especially the chilies, because you want to cook it properly. Otherwise, if you cook for someone, that person will go straight to the toilet or so. Because, <laughs> yeah, you really want to make sure that it's been cooked properly. Um, in Malaysia, you're, I believe, quite a celebrity as well. You do a lot on Malaysian television. Right. I, I've somehow, like, my name being picked up, um, well, one, because I have a restaurant in the UK. And then the second thing, my, my name, uh, well, be picked up after I joined the Lotus team. So I was a race chef for the Malaysian team. Lotus. Yeah, for the, for the Grand Prix. Yeah, for the Formula One. So last year, I kind of traveled around the world. Sounds glamorous, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so um, it was a good experience, a very good experience. So unfortunately, uh, I have to send down this year um, for the offer to, to go back, um, you know, traveling with them because, because uh, I want to concentrate more um, in the UK to promote Malaysian food. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the idea. So, right, I'm going to put in the chicken now, yeah? So, that's going in. So, this is just pieces of chicken breast? Yeah, we, well, back home in Malaysia, we like to use um, chicken on bones, but over here, people are a bit fussy. I mean, they, they're not very keen uh, with chicken chicken on bones, Steve. If you, if you like chicken on bones, go for it. So, um, yeah. I'm going to put two last ingredients, which is the... Um, um, Coffee lime leaf to go in, yeah. And also this roasted coconut to go in as well. Roasted coconut, oh, that roasted looks lovely. Coconut. This is the main ingredient that you need for this rendang, yeah. That so, smells incredible. Yeah, so most people mistakenly thought that this is like, um, well, it's got peanut in it, but but there's no peanut right. at all. So basically it's just the coconut. <laughs> um, while you're stirring that in, I've heard a rumour as well, Norman, that you're quite the dancer. Uh, and that you, you dance for the Queen. Oh, right. Just get it right. It's not the clubbing dance. This, this, this is a traditional dance, OK? <laughs> yeah, it's not a, sort of like a club anthem dance. This, this is like a Malaysian traditional dance. So, um... I'm um, so my auntie who runs this um, traditional dance group. I mean, um, she um, she gave me two types of dance, which is like a warrior dance called Kuda Kepang. Right. So I mean, um, yeah. So it's quite energetic dance. You have to jump with um, this fake horse that you have to hold anyway. Of course you do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so yeah. So we did um, we performed in front of the Queen in Westminster Abbey. This is way years back before I set up the restaurant anyway. So, I mean, it's good to, to, um, to expose our culture. So now I'm doing my duty to, um, to get people to know about Malaysian food, you see. Yeah. You run cooking workshops for people right here, don't you? Yeah, we do cookery class as well. So we do it every, um, uh, well, you know, two times um, a month. Yeah, so um, it's good. Lots of people join. So, right, looks like our chicken rendang is cooked. So I'm going to serve it. And that's the best part, of course, as well, is the taste it. There you go. Right. So. So let me taste this now. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a long pause. <laughs> <laughs>
that's lovely. No, but I'm just thinking, <laughs> it does taste like it's made with peanuts. Yeah, yeah, because most people mistakenly thought that uh, there's a peanut in that roasted coconut. And not too spicy. I could go a lot spicier than that. I can handle more than that. Well, if if you want this recipe, you can buy my cookbook. Nice. It's in my cookbook, yeah, some Malaysian food. So you can get it in Waterstone. And so, normally, if people are interested in the cookbook mm, or the cook classes or even yeah. coming here for dinner, uh, there's a website, I assume. Yeah, if you go to www.ningcatering.com and also they can follow me on my um, Facebook, Malaysian Chef Norma Musa, where I keep bantering without all that and talk about this uh, Malaysian food and then, you know, create this awareness, get people to love Malaysian cuisine, you see. So I think this is the best food in the world. I do. And if it all tastes like that, they will love Malaysian food. <laughs> Norman, thank you very much for letting us in the kitchen. You.